What does cycling do for your body shape? Develop a strong core, tone up your legs, improve your lung capacity, gain flexibility in the waist area, boost metabolism through cardiovascular exercise, reduce bad cholesterol and increase HDL, improve your mood cycle workouts raise endorphin levels, reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, burn more calories than running, reduce pain from arthritis number 1 develop a strong core, cycling works your obliques, lower back, and core muscles through the repetitive motion of pedaling in place. These are the same small muscles that help you sit up straight when standing and keep posture strong. When they're well developed, these areas can support the spine from collapsing under external weight or pressure, like sitting at a desk for long hours. Number 2 Tone up your legs. Cycling strengthens your quadriceps, hamstrings, calves, glutes, and upper thighs as you pedal over hills or against wind resistance. Losing leg fat is way easier than losing stomach fat, so many cyclists have toned legs without having to worry about their midsections. Number 3 Improve your lung capacity. Cycling increases your lung capacity because you're constantly using large muscle groups. That means it's easier to perform day-to-day -day tasks with high intensity. Number 4 Gain flexibility in the waist area. Although cycling does not work as many of the smaller muscles around your waist as a focused ab workout, pedaling builds core strength throughout the entire body, including back muscles that are essential for good posture. Number 5 Boost metabolism through cardiovascular exercise. The best way to torch calories is through cardiovascular exercise. That means making your heart beat faster so it works harder, and increasing oxygen consumption, or metabolic rate, during activity to burn extra fat. This occurs at a higher level during interval training, but any exercise that gets your heart rate up and keeps it there qualifies as an effective workout. Number 6 Reduce bad cholesterol and increase HDL. Cycling is a form of cardiovascular exercise, and the benefits extend beyond fat loss to more long-term considerations such as overall health. One way cycling improves your health is through the reduction of bad cholesterol, also known as low-density lipoproteins, LDL. A Swedish study found that cyclists had a 14% reduction in LDL after riding for only one hour every day for three weeks. Number 7 Improve your mood cycle workouts raise endorphin levels, which are associated with feelings of happiness. That's why so many people like to ride bicycles when they're feeling down. It's a great mood booster. Number 8 Reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. When you cycle, your body increases insulin sensitivity. This helps prevent type 2 diabetes and other types of diseases related to blood sugar control. Number 9 Burn more calories than running. If you've made it this far, then you already know that cycling is a great form of cardiovascular exercise. It's especially good for burning fat because it keeps your heart beating at a faster rate for an extended period. A study published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise found that cyclists burn twice as many calories as runners over the same distance, 419 calories compared to 219 calories for every mile covered. While running burns more total calories per minute, about 3% more than cycling, the calories burned are less significant than the amount of time spent exercising. When you ride a bike, you're able to spend more time riding and still burn more calories. Number 10 Reduce pain from arthritis. If you have arthritis in your joints, it can make everyday tasks, like walking, extremely painful. The repetitive motion of cycling may be a good alternative exercise because it does not put as much pressure on the knees or other affected joints. This is all thanks to the new indoor cycling revolution that allows us to cycle in comfort, no gale force winds or rain showers. What does cycling do for your legs? The legs are the strongest part of the body which is why they get worked out most by many a cycling enthusiast. One astute physician has come up with an equally interesting approach as to what should be done to these magnificent muscles in order to keep them healthy and strong. In fact, it's not just about pedaling that bicycle, but also how you go through your daily motions and habits will also provide a good workout for your legs. You might think that pedaling will do the trick while weightlifting is neither necessary nor practical for anybody who is not involved in such sports.